Hello folks, welcome to today's demonstration video of my eShop project. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the UI design of Manage Products page of our eShop. As you can now see on the screen, this is the view of the page. On top of this page, we can see the page title as Manage All Products. Below that, there is a search bar to search products using keywords. Then here is a yellow color button as Search Products. Administrators have to click on this button to start the searching process. This section is showing the number of the product. This section is showing product images. This section shows product titles. Then this section shows price of a product unit. Then this section shows available quantity in stock. Then this section shows listed dates of products. These buttons are here to block and unblock products. As you can see we are yet to block any listing yet. So let's block this product. To block that we have to click on this block button here. Currently this shows in red as you can see. So now I am going to click on this. Alright now this is blocked from listings. As you can see now this button shows in green and it says unblock. Let's unblock this product back again. Alright now it is unblocked and we can see the old red look of the button again. Finally by the bottom of this page we can see pagination features like this. We can use these pagination features to go back and forth between results pages. Alright let's check out the responsiveness of this page to various display resolutions. In this case we are only focusing on the larger and smaller display resolutions. So this is the view that we are getting on a larger display resolution. Ok now I am going to decrease the display resolution virtually. Alright now this is the view that we are getting on a smaller display resolution. As you can see now it has a more compact structure to fit on that smaller display resolution. That's all about it so let's inspect codes of our design. So now I am going to VS code as you can see. I am currently viewing manageproducts.php file. As usual to keep our page running in the state it should be I am linking some other files inside of it. First inside these head tags I am linking bootstrap.css then bootstrap icons.css then our own style.css file. Then by the bottom of body tags I am linking bootstrap.bundle.js file and our own script.js file. Let's get into product blocking and unblocking process. If the status ID of the product is 1, which means it's not blocked yet, the button will be shown like this. Text inside the button says block and the button will show in red. If a product was already blocked, text inside the button will say unblock and the background color of the button will be green. In both of those situations we are calling a JS function named block product. Then in both of those situations we are passing the product id with it. Let's see our script.js file. Alright you can see our javascript function block product here like this. We are also grabbing the passed product id from here. Inside the js function I created a new xml http request like this. I created this to request from blocking products.php side. This already state changes here to figure out the current state of our request. If the ready state of the request is 4 and blocking products.php site is giving a response as blocked, these codes are changing in HTML of the button to unblock. Then these codes are changing background color to green. If response text was equal to unblocked, these codes are changing in HTML of the button to block. Then these codes are changing button background color to red. Then finally after all we are sending our request to block in products.php side using the get method like this. And we are also passing the product id with it like this. Alright let's see our block in products.php file. First on top of this php script I am requiring connection.php file to establish the connection with our database. Then these codes are checking out whether a product id is coming using get method or not. If a product id wasn't coming this is giving a response as something went wrong. 
If a product ID came, we are keeping it like this. This search query is searching products relation in our database for the product with that past product ID. If that product was found, the process will continue into these steps. If it was unable to find that product, this is giving a response as cannot find the product, please try again later. If the status ID of the product is 1, which means it's not blocked yet, this update query is changing that to 2, which means product is blocked. After completing that, it is echoing a response as blocked. Then if the status ID of the product was 2, this query is updating that to 1. After that it is echoing a response as unlocked. So folks, that's all I have to explain in this video. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.